Hello everyone, YouTube is Alex here, back with some more Boom Beach. And we're back with the offensive, uh, the offensive base once again. A uh, fair bit of work's been done in my absence, although at present, not, hang on a minute. Um, let me just, sorry, um, give me a second, no, that's, okay, that's fine. Um, sorry, sorry about that guys, uh, I was uh, in the middle of a Skype call with friends, but I just decided to mute myself. I uh, was just double checking I was muted. Anyway, the offensive base, what's going on? Uh, well, we've done a few upgrades in the armory, which we need to upgrade this at some point. But what I am pushing for is the level 11 base, because I'm pretty sure that will be the next thing. We are very close to 11, le 11 levels of experience anyway, and all that stuff. So we've got uh, Heavy Rifle and Zuga here, we've got level 4 landing craft. We're actually doing some pretty good job, job here. Um, and oddly enough, I've had some defenses. This is not going to last because uh, <laughs> um, the, there, will, there will become a time when obviously my victory points get so high I will not be able to defend at all. So uh, uh, let's just show you. This is the um, HQ4 base. We'll just quickly run through this. Um, this guy had a good try, but he didn't even destroy any of my defensive buildings except the mortar, which he uh, just artilleried. Uh, we've got Rifleman Zuka running running in here, and um, let's just say Rifleman Zuka at, at this level is very impractical because those Riflemen die way too fast. It's very hard to keep them alive unless you have like a heavy up front. Um, I mean, he does take a, a you know a dent in the back end of my base, but that one sniper pretty much wrecks his entire army. And at this point here, we have the second sniper pitching in for those Riflemen, and finally everyone's dead. And apparently. The game doesn't realise I'm still here. For the love of God's sake, game. Anyway, um, let me just double check something. Yep, that's recording. Sorry. A bit paranoid that this isn't uh, recording too well. I think the um, there's actually a little bit of um, gameplay audio going on here. Um, it's very hard to tell if there's actually much in the ways of audio uh, being recorded, but it seems to be taking some of it. So, this is this is an attack that happened very recently, so... Once again, everyone seems to love this, taking out this mortar. Uh, this is the HQ5 base, by the way, which I'll show you in a second. So this guy tries to take me head on. All I'm going to say, I uh, don't f just never neglect your snipers. These snipers will, and he 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 tried to bum rush me here, but you have three snipers just bearing down on everything. So y you could kind of see how this is going to go. His heavy takes a lot of the shots but you know even at this level at level three snipers he tried well but he didn't exactly go that way. <laughs> it didn't go too well for him and that guy was a level 11 uh, of all things so you know just just plonk your um your snipers next to each other and and you you generally survive uh, fairly well at least it seems to be for me anyway um, that's another thing. How much attacking I'm going to do in this episode, I don't know. Uh, for the sheer reason of I don't have a lot of diamonds left. I've been spending those getting a few things done. Uh, a few buildings upgraded, a few uh, of these boats upgraded as well. So that's... The, I had a lot more diamonds, but they've all kind of gone. Uh, we have a sculptor over here hidden behind this tree and the vault level 3. Which um, That's another thing, guys. If you're playing offensively, you might want to upgrade that, um, that vault because you're going to get raided often. Or at least, uh, eventually, uh, I will be raided often. So, um, let's actually go and unlock here, which is a, a Hammerman base here. I'm, I really doubt I'll be able to take him on uh, right this second, um, because all I'm going to say, I prefer to take out the MMG. I, I'm not the person. I'm not the sort of person to flank around because that arguably is just in too, is a bit difficult. Not to mention the MMG can kind of see around the arse of his base, so. I generally don't do that, and I also want to get that extra landing craft in the next HQ upgrade, which I believe is HQ6, isn't it? Because this is HQ5, so that was the HQ5 base. So anyway, let's clear. Let's actually start like the process of clearing the map. We've got three players, which, um, assuming I don't lose too many troops here, we will take those guys out. So let's just take a quick look here, see what's going on. This is apparently the uh, the kill zone. I don't really care what zone you are, but you're going down no matter which way I think about it. You're an NPC, and NPCs are arguably easy. So, usual process here. This is where saving a little bit of uh, GBE for those flares, just to get your troops around those mines, because mines 
Mines are painful. Um, I'm going to try and just say go to the uh, sniper. I, I was just worried about those Zookas clipping the side of that... Um, uh, the side of the uh, mines there. We've already downed one rifleman, which is not a good start, but not the end of the world. Um, I'll probably refill it, but won't uh, won't actually like spend the diamonds to speed it up. But like I said, I don't want to. Uh, hey, double victory point. Well, I don't really care. So, <laughs> but we're getting some um, shards and stuff, which will be a good um, a good start anyway. So those are those victory points. So let's take a quick look at this base, which is actually a new spawn for me, so... Uh, level 1, uh, yeah, I, that's, this seems easy enough. It should be easy. I got, all, I got all these troops here. Now, I can see one advantage here. You can do one, two, three. Like so. And we still have a bunch of GB left, so let's, um, Put our troops here and let's see how how much damage that mortar's gonna do. They're actually gonna go straight for the barrels, which is actually the worst idea you can have in the world. And we're gonna start putting a med kit there. And you take out a Zooka. You son of a Not a good start, is it guys? <laughs> um preferably don't lose too much more of your health. Let's just throw artillery shot. Okay. I mean, losing troops is part of the game. I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to go minimalistic at the troops here. Now, if we get some diamonds, actually, from this, uh, sort of look. Diamonds, yes. Y you would almost think I would go with the um, uh, the wood uh, upgrade. Wood upgrade. Uh, <laughs> uh, the um, magma shards, but uh, not today. I don't think. It looks like I'm going to have to upgrade a couple things anyway, um, just realising that's not actually going to be that as simple as I was expecting, so... Uh, all of these taking one hour, 2,000 wood. It might be it might be worth it for the sake of levels, but maybe I should like upgrade... So that's 3,000 wood, and it's going to take an hour. That's going to take that much time. Uh, I'm probably going to say go with the wood uh, for now, just just to use, use some of that wood. Um, for now, so I'm deliberately avoiding the minefield NPC because that one's going to be a pain in the royal ass uh, to deal with here. So, okay. <clears throat> anyway, let's, car let's carry on. So this is going to be, I think this is going to be a chance for med kits. I think I'm not going to bother with the artilleries. We're just, I'm just going to med, I'm going to med up. Let's just see how much, see how much damage these guys take, and then I'll start medding up. As the time progresses, so run forward. There's the next load, so let's just do another med kit here. Those Zookas are really nice, I gotta say. Let's just go for that. And then we're gonna flare here. Let them take those um, containers out, and we're just gonna start firing shells at the HQ. I could probably get one more off once they get more GB for me. There we go. Maybe one more. Yeah, I'll get one more. Just just peppering that HQ. So yeah, see how, see how much weaker that was. It had nearly full health before I did those crates, so... And there we go. We actually got ourselves our first shard. Early days. You know, early days of collecting um, all those different things here. So, yeah, let's go here. Is there an NPC here? No, we have a player. Right. It might be time to start scouting these guys out and see if we can actually take down a few any of these guys at all. Uh, at the first onset, this might actually be an easy base. Why, you may be thinking? Well, I see that I can see an opportunity to take out two of his... No, I see a quad hit there. I love a mortar hitting me constantly, but at the same time... Let's give this guy a try. Hopefully those heavies will take some hits for me. So, one, two, three. That's going to be a quad. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's... um. Let's get those heavies down and the rifleman Zooka. And I'm going to say to all these guys, hug the wall. I don't have enough to double artillery those guys, like those turrets over there, but um, this should be good enough. Fairly spread out, these troops, but yep, good. They're attacking the heavies, which is what I want. Uh, preferably you don't shoot that. Okay, we're going to lose a couple of riflemen here. It's not... 
too big of a deal. Uh, double artillery, I've had enough of you guys. <laughs> Except, uh, no, they're still going. Okay, that was actually not one of... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why was I on... <sighs> I was clicked on the ruddy flares. <sighs> Just keep... Okay, we uh, we might be okay. That uh, rifleman over there is going to die. We might still win this. Um, hopefully, the mortar might look at, like turn its attention to a heavy. Look at look at a heavy, damn it! No, you're going to look at that rifleman. Um, yeah, this one's probably going to be uh, a success, but uh, yeah, that was just a total fail. I I don't know why I misclicked that. I was trying to like artillery. It was it. Maybe I'll admit, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, that was just that was just a dick move on my behalf. I <laughs> I accept responsibility for my uh, mild failure, but regardless, we still won. Regardless of that slight uh, mishap here. So, ignoring that and moving on. Twelve diamonds. This is the issue. I don't have enough to actually. Uh, <laughs> Refund my stuff. So we got another NPC here. Let's check him out. What's going on here? <laughs> Fairly standard, apparently. Formation. Okay. Uh, what's going on at the base? Not a t uh, I haven't got enough diamonds for that. <laughs> this is the thing. If I'm trying, trying to play without diamonds, and now, now I've got to wait. What, if, if, if those those supers take so long to upgrade. Um, speaking of which, if you're wondering what, what we're at now, we've got level 2 riflemen, level 2 heavies. Uh, still level 1 zooks at the moment. Uh, got the artillery up, one. 777 damage there. Uh, mines are at level 2. Pretty much I've, I've done an upgrade on everything, at least within an army level 1. So, you know, med kits, I've done with flares once. So, we've had some upgrades. And god damn it, I can't even I can't even finish the Zuka boat first. Uh that's annoying. We'll finish a boat and let's see if we can uh oh. Oh three diamonds. Uh well thanks. Uh let's see if we can take out the NPC with just what the boats that we have. Which means I suppose it's probably doable with Boat missing. Right, sorry about that, guys. I I went si I fell silent there for a period of time because um, my dad was walking past my door, and you'd probably be wondering what am I on about right now? Okay, who are you going to shoot at? Over there. Okay. So even if we uh, had one less boat, it's not the end of the world. Let's just throw that over there. Help that one rifleman shooting that over there, and this NPC falls again. You know, one thing that would be good. Maybe there's like a, a percentage chance, like when you defeat a base, this gets into during combat. Well, I didn't exactly lose anything. <laughs> so, anyway, um, it would be nice if like you had like a percentage a percentage chance when you defeat a base um, to get extra like wood, uh, but you get the extra wood from like the trees on on the map and everything. So, I don't know, it's just, it's just an idea. Let's just have a quick scout of these guys. I don't think I can, um, not with my, uh, without my zooks, I don't think I can take these guys out. That's kind of annoying. And maybe, maybe, ne maybe next episode I should just make a mental note uh, to have more, you know, keep a few more diamonds with me before I go into battle, at least, um, like that. This is this is. I, I definitely reached a point, and I think mo if anyone was starting in a, a offensive uh, Boom Beach playstyle, um, there is one thing I do notice. At least there is a point. You can play offensively like I'm doing, but you get to a point now where I'm hitting some fairly hard limiting factors. 
It's not really the boats. The boats and the troops are, of a re you know, they're getting there in the level. But you don't have it. You have no statues at this point. I'm still trying to get all the shards and the fragments and whatnot. So I still have statues to collect. And at this point, I'm kind of waiting on a lot of things. Um, you, you know, you know what I'm going to do. I've, I've done this before, but I'm just going to do this, and then this. Maybe a bit of waste of wood and a waste of time building it in the first place, but we need that armory up because that armory is going to be a good supplier of uh, our higher level troops. And uh, not to mention, I also should next, after I've uh, got that armory upgraded, I should get these residences upgraded as well because I think I might I might have to play a little bit more passively uh, for at least a short period of time uh, until I get some higher level troops and possibly some statues if I just keep clearing out the NPCs on my map because uh, right now we still have absolutely nothing so it might have we might have to just sit here and uh, or more important more correctly speaking I might have to sit here and maybe just hold off on the attacking just for a short while while I get some of my stuff you know some of my uh, resources together and not to mention uh, at my victory points we're, we're going to get higher and higher level people that are going to keep showing up so what's the level 16 actually I forgot yeah the level 16 which actually isn't as um, heavily defended as it looks reason being is you've got this high one sniper here cannon and a sniper and then pretty much the HQ is exposed like the rest of the base here is surprisingly open there isn't a whole lot they can do at this point. Warrior Zuka. Now that is an interesting combo, my friend. <laughs> so, anyway. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. It's a little bit shorter than the last one, but like I said, uh, the video length, I think, at least with the offensive base that I'm doing here, how long each video is, I think, depends, or will depend quite a lot on how much I can get done in an episode. And I probably did spend a, lot, a fair bit of time just rambling to myself, or rambling to you guys, so hopefully I haven't driven too many of you insane. Uh, but there you go. And also, once again, the HQ5 base design if you uh, want something. Even with low level buildings like these little, um, you know, these sniper t snipers, the machine gun and whatnot, it does seem to at least hold off at least um, anyone you might find at uh, 55 victory points. So there you go. But anyway. Thank you for watching, and like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Give me some more information on what I should do with regards to being more offensive in this game. I don't know any st any strategies you might have. Is there anything you know you're doing at this level that I'm not, and you and you're having good results with? Do let me know. So I'm certainly interested to see. Because like I said, I have not done this before. I'm a more naturally defensive player. That's just my playstyle. Everyone's different, and I respect that. I hope you respect mine as well. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.